And the Oscar goes to... Well, we'll find out come Sunday. Good morning, Paul Lindman. The morning update for a Friday. It's Oscar weekend, the 84th Academy Awards, Sunday evening on ABC. And let's talk this morning to a woman you hear on the news all the time, Mary Lose, who also happens to be quite a film buff, a card-carrying critic, as a matter of fact, goes to all the big award shows. She joins us this morning from California. And Mary, uh, Billy Crystal returns as the host. I'm really happy about that. I like the job he does. Do you think uh, the Academy likes Crystal? Oh, of course they do. They wouldn't have invited him back, you know, if they didn't like what he's done in the past. I think this will be something like the eighth time that he's hosted the Academy Awards. So, you know, it's a big deal for him to come back. And it was a last-minute deal, too, because uh, there was a director who had been picked to work on the Academy Awards show. He decided to drop out, and he had hired Eddie Murphy to host. And since he wasn't going to do it, Eddie Murphy said no. And so they had to scramble and find somebody, and they were lucky that Billy Crystal said yes. I mean, just that opening montage that he does is is worth you know having him back, I think. Let's get on to the categories. Best Picture, nine nominees. Uh, who's the favorite, and uh, what are you thinking in that category? Well, you know, this is interesting this year because it could have been anywhere from between five and ten nominees, and they came up with nine, and I think really the top two are going to be uh, The Artist and Hugo. It's a nice list. It's a list that's been with us now through all the award shows, starting with the Critics' Choice, and, um, you know, really those are the two that it's between, but I think The Artist is probably going to come out on top. It's really been proving to be the one to beat this year. A lot of people like The Descendants. You don't think it's going to factor in, huh? I'm, you know, slightly, but I just don't think that it has, uh, you know, everything that it needs for that win for Best Picture. When I saw Meryl Streep in Iron, The Iron Lady, I thought slam dunk, Best Actress, but uh, others disagree with that. What do you think? No, I don't think she's going to get it. I mean, she's gotten uh, so many things in the past. She did get the Golden Globe this year um, for that, but... You know, she was beaten out by Viola Davis, and I really think uh, Viola Davis in the help. I think this is her year all across the board. She's won everything else besides the Golden Globe, and I just think that um, she's going to uh, pull it out, you know, and get this win, too. Who's your idea of best actor? Best actor is an interesting category this year as well because we have uh, somebody who's come out of nowhere with Damien Bashir in A Better Life. Uh, he is a um, Hispanic actor uh, in a story about uh, uh, a migrant worker in, in L.A. Um, but uh, Jean Dujardin is a name that is completely unfamiliar to people as well, but he's huge in France. Uh, George Clooney uh, has been winning stuff for The Descendants, but, and I think a lot of people think he'll win, but he's going up against his buddy Brad Pitt for Moneyball. It's a tough category this year. Even Gary Oldman for Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. It, it, I almost feel like it could go to anybody, but the thing is that Jean Dujardin does such a great job in The Artist. Um, he just nailed that role, and it's a silent film, and how hard is that to do? Yeah, and too bad. Very we, hard. Too bad we don't have a category for best dog either. Because oh, it, I know. Is it Uggy? Is that his name in, in the artist? Uggy. Uggy. Yes. Well, yeah, that's his real name. It's Uggy, and Uggy did win the Golden Collar Award, <laughs> which was a brand new one this year, uh, because of that. Because people thought there should be a dog Oscar. You mentioned uh, Hugo and the artist as as being yeah. the the big ones this year. Is it going to be one of those years where where one or both just takes most of the of the awards in several categories? Do you think? I think so, and I think Hugo is probably going to get a lot of technical awards just because it's so incredible as far as Martin Scorsese's use of three D, Dante Ferretti being the production designer on it. Um, it just has an incredible, beautiful look with just color that pops. And it's just a, a beautiful piece of film, and I think it's probably going to get a lot of the technical stuff as well. Mary Lowe, so you hear on our newscast on KEX all the time, and, and Mary and I tend to agree on just about everything, don't we, Mary? And as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> Hugo, I'm that you got to see that film. If you haven't seen that movie, friends, it's just a killer, and, and I know you think so too, Mary. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I th you know, and that's the thing that's so hard about that best picture category between the artist and Hugo. It's what I was saying earlier when you asked me about the descendants. 
the Descendants doesn't have everything that just makes you go, yes, right. at the end of the movie. And Hugo and the artist both have those those things that, that sort of feeling that you get, you know, that overall happiness that you get when you walk out of a movie and you just say, that was just a fantastic film. And uh, the artist and Hugo both have that, and that's why this category is so tough. Mary Lowe's, thank you. Have a great weekend, my friend. Hey, thanks a lot, Paul.